Live. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, wait. Get your... Oh, I should stop talking. Hold on. Let me <laughs> Let me switch over to the to the startup. What's this? What's this? Oh, there we go. Okay, there it is. There it is. <laughs> All right. So welcome to the Jesse and Bob Draw Stuff Show. All right. So we turn it off. Okay. So we're today's episode, we're going to be working on uh, Star Trek, one of my all-time favorites. Jesse claims he doesn't do a lot of Star Trek stuff, but I'm not a huge Star Trek fan. Over the years, I have been, but it wavers. It comes and goes. It's like uh, um, I was a big uh, uh, original series Star Trek mm -hmm. when I was when I was a kid, mm -hmm. and then uh, in college, I discovered the Next Generation. Nice. Okay. And watched that a lot. <laughs> But so. <laughs> I don't watch all the other stuff. Um, I do when it comes out. I did see the latest, not the very newest Star Trek movie, but the uh, first one of the reboot or whatever where the new actor was cast as Kirk and all the crew of the Enterprise was cast with new actors and stuff. And uh, I forgot what the name of that movie was. but So are you drawing right now? What's going on? Oh, there you go. Okay, so you're switching over. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I liked... Um, I like the original series best. I don't know why. I think because, because again, I like that sort of campy kind of stuff, you know? Sure. I loved um, William Shatner's over-the-top acting. Yeah, I that was always fun. <laughs> that, that kind of made it for me. Um, so we, we decided this week we would pick uh, something from Star Trek, and we decided, I guess, monsters or aliens from Star Trek. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was kind of an up in the air kind of thing. I think it was really anything you want to do that has something to do with, with Star Trek, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, what did you pick? I picked uh, the. What's it called? It's called a Mugato, or Mugatu, or even I've read somewhere it was originally called the Gumato. It was a. Uh, a giant white gorilla with a horn sticking out of its head and spikes out of its back. Yeah, I remember that one. And uh, I decided to do that one. That that one has always been burned into my brain as a, <laughs> as a one of those like uh, WTF kind of moments. Even uh huh. I'm... Yeah, yeah. And so I, I've chosen the Gorn. Yeah. <laughs> the Gorn. One of the other WTF moments of Star oh. Trek. The uh, <laughs> we we both picked we both picked uh, uh subjects from fight scenes with Kirk, amazingly enough. Are there anything else? Is there anything else? Well, you know, I I was tempted to draw one of the uh, green grease paint alien girls, but uh, I wasn't sure I could do it justice. Mm hmm. Uh, in an hour, or just to doodle around and stuff. So, I kind of chickened out on drawing the female character. Mm. Uh, yeah, right, right, right. Well, I always, I always thought the the Gorn episode was hilarious. <laughs> so, so here we go. I'm drawing the drawing the Gorn. Oh, you even have a weapon now in his hand there. Yeah, it's oh. <laughs> something you should play around with. What's uh, that? while we're kind of new to the Google Hangouts environment or whatever, is see if you can manually control who's on screen at whatever time. Oh, yeah, there's a little... If you if you click the um, the, the bottom thing there, it'll, it'll switch back and forth between the two. Oh, okay. So if we're, if we're watching you draw the Gorn face or something like that, then, you know, you could keep it locked on there for a minute. So let's see, we gotta It only took us all day to get together again. It's the way it always works. We're gonna end up having to call this Bob and Jesse draw after the kids are gone. Yeah. After hours, yeah. After hours or something, <laughs> yeah. I like drawing gorillas too. That's Yeah, yeah. Those are that's one of my fun. other reasons for picking this one. And then, uh, and then, as I was looking around when we were talking about what subject we were going to have, I saw um, something about your Gorn character. Oh yeah. 
there was a commercial, I guess, where they. Oh yeah, I saw that. That was the one with uh, where, where Shatner and him are both old and they're going to play video games or something. <laughs> like that. Okay, I was cracking over that. I love that one. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, they they totally referenced it and just made fun of the you know themselves. Uh, or I guess it was just Shatner. I don't figure they got the original guy who played the corn to come out and do it, but <laughs> you know. Um, and I'm messing up my layers already and everything. I love how like the 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 Gorn's all like he's all stiff and stuff. He can barely move around, you know. Well, the the thing that got me was the slow motion. Yeah. Like, are the Gorn supposed to be these dangerous aliens that like are great warriors of some kind or something? I don't know, but then they threw those giant rocks at each other and stuff and. Yeah, they're all indestructible. You know, um, what I was just thinking here is um, we should have the uh, the fight song playing in the background. Oh. <laughs> yes. Well, if we ever have a chance to edit these in post, we'll just put it on in the background. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. I gotta, I gotta make this a little sillier. This is too static. Let me see if I can. Uh, it looks pretty good to me. Got his mouth open over there. Yeah, a little static. I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna stick one of these legs up in the air. I don't know. Finding the right. You know, considering the time constraint, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Let's get this one a little more balanced underneath him here. And just for the sake of being totally honest, I'm looking at a picture of a, this Mugato thing. Well, how would you draw it if you didn't? Yeah, well, I mean, you, I could fake a gorilla, probably cartoon one, but um, I don't know. I just had to get a picture. But, did, you know, I, I searched for pictures of the this uh, beast online. Mm -hmm. And what's funny is is some if you spell it a certain way... Um, have you ever seen that movie, um, Zoolander? About yeah. The male, the male models, and the, it was a yeah, 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 yeah. The bad guy in that movie, his name was Mugatu. Oh, and he keeps coming up. Yeah, and his picture would come up, and it's funny. His hair is kind of appropriate, actually. Like he's got those white kind of curly hair. And, and it, Do you think that that's uh, a coincidence? Wasn't that Will Ferrell who played that? Will character? Ferrell, yeah. He's great. Yeah, I'm I, I'm always hesitant to admit I really enjoy Will Ferrell films, most of them anyway. I don't think there's one that that he's done that I didn't like. Well, I, you know, I'm sure. All right, something happened to my. Phone. He know. is he is very over the top though. Sometimes this stuff makes me a little uncomfortable watching it. <laughs> well, if you're gonna watch it with the kids, sometimes it's not a. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. I've liked most of what I've seen. Because when you go in, you know what you're going in for. You know, it's yeah. Not like it's, yeah, you know it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. You're not watching a an Oliver Stone flick or Steven <laughs> Spielberg or, you know, a notable director. I mean, you're going in for a good time and some laughs. Yeah, he, he, he does a good job. All right, so... I liked his... Uh, I liked his movie where he was the NASCAR driver. Yeah, that was one of my favorites. <laughs> goes Especially being the, down here in North Carolina. He goes into the to the car with the mountain lion. In it. <laughs> so how's that tablet working out for you lately? Oh man, I love this thing. Yeah. It's really amazing. Yeah, it is just amazing. Whoa! Hello. Fingers does the Gorn have? Does he have two giant claw I forget. I think he's got like, yeah, I think we'll give him two. Something like that. And he's I just up. love those eyes. Those big metallic giant. reflective eyes that he the has. The big giant bug eyes. And then uh, you have the... Uh, the vest he wears, it's... Really? Does he? He wears a vest. Yeah, with the high collar and stuff. <laughs> it's 
it's too bad we can't play the fight scenes in a video. Like, just have them looping. Yeah, just looping each of the fights <laughs> from the <laughs> monsters we picked. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's the hand here. I should have calibrated my mark. One of my other all-time favorite episodes is the one where um, where Spock has to go back to the planet to Planet Vulcan because it's it's mating season. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. It's so dopey. <laughs> Anything with Spock and mating is going to be awkward. <laughs> well, <laughs> and I love I always love. Um, <clears throat> How, how uh, the guy who played uh, McCoy, DeForest Kelly, he's always like, he's all, you know, you, know, yeah. are you, you killed him, are you happy now? You know, that kind of stuff. Right. Bones. The other, the, one of the other ones that I liked is the, um, do you remember the one with the, uh, with that big giant um, rock eating thing and then like uh, Bones uh, fixes it with, um, with, with, uh, Cement and uh, and a trowel or something like that. No, I don't remember that one. <laughs> that was a but good one. That, nothing surprises me when you say that. I'd have to watch it. I think so I think, I, I think I got this nose wrong here. There was uh, the tribbles. I always remember those little furry things. They mm-hmm. look like sponges. It's definitely a budget creature for a science fiction show. <laughs> Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know those guys were on a serious budget. <laughs> yeah, so there is that. <coughs> and, Excuse uh, me. Woo. But back then, it it reminded me of. Um, you ever watch the old Doctor Who shows? No, actually, I never have. I've never no. seen those. I hear a lot of people talking about it, but I've never actually watched them. Yeah, there's a Doctor Who resurgence going on right now with the modern version of the series, but. The old one I used to watch, and it, it's just the only reason I bring it up now is because of the 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 special effects limitations of the time period, and then you know the uh, the budget limitations of doing entire other planets and aliens and spacecraft and you know all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I go yeah. with what Star Trek was probably dealing with back then. Well, I know that um, they had some they had, um, resistance to getting the show on the air. And I think I think uh, do, you, do you follow um, what's his name there? Who's the guy who played Sue? Who? What's that guy's name? About? George Takei. George Takei. Do you follow him at all? I, I, he, oh, I follow yeah. him on on uh, Facebook and uh, yeah, he was he had posted a few articles about you know the show and, and it getting started and that kind of thing, you know? Yeah, for its time, it was a it was a pretty uh, strange show. And uh, I was, uh, I follow some of George Decay's stuff. I, I like, uh, I guess he has like a charity he has for um, uh, bringing awareness to uh, Japanese people who were interred during World War II. Oh yeah, yeah I've seen that. I saw him talking about that. Yeah. So there's some stuff like that that I have, uh, I follow a little bit about. And then uh, I actually saw him when he first sort of came back on the scene a little bit on Howard Stern. Mm-hmm. Back when I used to listen to that show. And, uh, but yeah. So what did you think? Have you ever seen the new films, the ones that uh, that were in the theaters recently with the new characters and actors and all that stuff? Um, I thought the 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 most recent one they did uh, was pretty good. Um, you saw it, or you, you've seen it? On uh, Netflix, I saw it. Yeah, that that was the one with um, where they were they kind of recast the, the roles of all the characters, you know, because I guess most of the characters are just too old or or yeah. have died at this point. Exactly. Yeah, but I thought that was pretty cool, and I thought the one that they that they got the closest was uh, Spock. The guy who was oh, playing yeah, Spock. Oh yeah, that guy who nailed it. Yeah, he looked just like him. And then um, I thought even the guy that was playing Kirk was good. I thought that was pretty cool. It seems like 
um, it was a, a pretty neat reimagining of everything. The, o- the only thing I don't love about that um, when they do that is that the technology now is so advanced that it's hard for them to, to sort of go back and and be true to the old series, you know, like like all the stuff, like it's, oh, same thing that happened with Star Wars was, you know, back when they did it in the 70s, um, all that stuff was, you know, state of the art and it was about the, the best that they could get, you know, but right. now that they have these, these really advanced techniques and they have a, a better eye on what the future might actually look like, um, you know, all those all those new gadgets that they could put in there are, are kind of hampered by, you know, being trapped in the 60s or 70s or whenever they, they happen to film these things. Right. And so now they're, now they're kind of stuck with that. So the, how do they make that old stuff look new and, and be cool and gadgety, you know? Right. Well, that's I guess that's part of the trick. I always thought if you were going to, you know, if you were doing Star Wars movies, they should have... I know we talk a lot about it. I I know Star Wars much more uh, intimately than I do Star Trek, but I thought when they made those sequels or prequels or whatever they, you want to call them, they should have used these same old-fashioned techniques. That would be interesting. I would have loved to have seen them, you know, have another take on that um, with the same exact special effects. Maybe touch them up a little bit with computers, but I wouldn't you know, reinvent the wheel just just so that the the look of it would remain the same. But mm-hmm. well, and then but you got to remember that they're dealing with a whole new audience now. You know. Yeah. And then I oh man, I'm talking about disappointed. I, I was watching the um, Star Wars stuff with my kids. You know, the Return of the Jedi and all those movies, and. I was shocked at how much they changed. Mm-hmm. They just went back and dropped stuff into the, into the movie that like wait that wasn't there before. <laughs> Did you feel cheated, Jesse? <laughs> I I felt like someone was trying to mess with my brain. They were trying to trick you. Yeah, like wait a minute, who are you people? <laughs> I have to rethink everything in my life now. Well, I, I you know with a lot of these movies. I try to watch them with the kids, you know, and, and tell them like how great these movies were, you know, that I used to love. So <clears throat> we would, you know, every once in a while we'll pull out and be like, oh, this is the greatest movie you guys will ever see. You know, it's like <laughs> Cool Hand Luke, you know, and, and I'm like, what do you guys, what do you guys watch this? It's going to be the greatest thing you've ever seen. And then they're like halfway through it, they're like, I'm so bored, I can't stand this anymore. Yep. Yeah, what's what? This is what you used to think was cool, you know. And, and I remember trying to watch um, a couple of different movies. Cool Hand Luke was one of them, which I think is one of the greatest movies ever made. Sure. And then uh, I tr- we tried to watch Butch Cassidy. They couldn't handle that one either. They were bored by that. Oh, I gotta watch that one again. And I was their age, I think, when I well, th- a little younger was it than they are now. Just too intense for them, or was it just? They're bored. They're bored by they're it. They're just bored, yeah. Because it's not all action fight scene roller coaster that they're used to, you know? Yeah. There's a lot well, of, there's actual story that these things. Right. I've only been successful with a couple of movies like that. Which um, ones? Uh, the kids really liked Blade Runner, my older ones. Really? Yeah. I, I would think that they would be bored by that one. If any, if, no, that, that if one, any other that movies, one that one. Good. Yeah. Uh, the original Highlander film. Oh yeah, yeah. My kids did like that, but they thought it was corny. They 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 liked it because it was corny. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna have uh, to pull that one out later on. I think what else? Uh, we did go back and watch, you know, like the Monty Python movie, uh, the Holy Grail yeah. one. And, oh, we did that one. Uh, and I... then we watched. Um, actually, the one I was surprised that they liked. Have you ever seen the movie Brazil? Yeah. Oh, this is my older one. My well, one of my high school boys. He's reading 1984 for mm-hmm. you know, for a reading assignment or something. So he was, I thought I was like, oh, you got to see Brazil. You know, it's kind of that dystopian yeah. storyline kind of thing. Right. And uh, he's like, okay, whatever. And then. Uh, Did you like it then? Yeah, he liked that one. He, they, they, uh, both of my boys liked that one. So I was 
pretty relieved. And and we've watched things like uh, they say they liked, but I don't know if they really like. I know they liked Conan the Barbarian. Mm. Yeah, that's a good one. That's kind of yeah, it's kind of dopey too. That was easy to sell though to a kid yeah. even even now. Yeah. Um, but I don't even know if that's an old film, really. I mean, to them it is, but well, uh, it's pretty old, yeah. And we've done. I, I did Mad Max. That's a good one. You know which one I I, w- I think my kids might actually be able to sit through would be Longest Yard. Do you remember that one with Burt Reynolds? And... With who? Burt Reynolds. Oh yeah. What about Smokey and the Bandit? <laughs> you know, I haven't seen yours. <laughs> Or Cannonball Run, man. You gotta. All right, so now. Smoking in the bed, I love it. Oh my gosh, look at that Gorn. I'm getting ready to go. I'm ready, ready to go on the inking stuff here. You're you're almost done. Look at you. I will say this: you, you, uh, you move quick. (laughs) Look at that Gorn. The Gorn. It looks like he's moving twice as fast. Yeah. <laughs> and he's just a still frame. Gotta love it. Yeah. Gotta love the Gorn. Right, I'm gonna color this I don't know guy. if I'm going to have time to get to color today, but we'll see how far we get with this. Well, my guy's all white. He doesn't have a lot of details, so I'm going to... Oh, nice. You're coloring already? Look at you, man. Yeah. I, oh, I'm you're way ahead of me. Up. You're way ahead of me. i got to hurry up. I decided to loosen up a little bit. I didn't put a background in either, so... Which is probably right, I never well, put backgrounds in, so if I can help it. All right, I'm just gonna nobody f- likes backgrounds. See how much I can fly through this one. Then I'll focus on my characters and leave the background. Leave that alone. But uh, I like the way I I think I like the way this Hangouts thing works. Well, you know, I'll tell you the one thing that I'm going to love about this is not having to edit. Aha. Uh-huh. Could those, be the one um, thing you hate also. Well, those those videos that we did earlier um, are huge. Yeah. I don't know what to do with them. They're so big. Exactly. When you get into, you know, an hour-long video, that's that's insane. So I was trying to edit those down, and then I was trying to figure out, like, you know, what settings do we use? And then I thought, well, you know, we don't have to worry about any of that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So you got anything coming up? Um, I've, I'm going to be doing a um, another demo, I think. I'm, I'm going to focus on uh, Illustrator this time. Oh, yeah. How'd the other one go? They went great. They were they were really you know they were fun and we got a lot of stuff covered. So, um, yeah, I was I was happy with the way those came out. Now I edited one of them down and the other one I just left um, unedited. It'll be up there I think with uh, till Monday, uh-huh. and then I'm going to take it down and edit it and then I'll I'll put it back up and offer it for edited video. There you go. And what did you cover in the last one? I forgot. Well, so we I did. Um, how to improve your watercolor in yeah. Photoshop. Oh, yeah. And so, right. yeah, I looked at a lot of different things in there. We did um, stuff like adjustment layers and, um, you know, how to paint um, with Photoshop to make it look like it's a watercolor. I also I, I talked about doing um, uh, using the clone stamp tool to kind of emulate that, that watercolor look and, so you're just going all out with the tricks of the trade then. You're not even Well, I was trying to to get um, you know, some stuff that I you know, people would find useful. Yeah. And then, you know, obviously I'm still gonna be doing all and stuff like that, but I want to, you know, to get this stuff out there so that um, people understand, you know, if you are a traditionalist that Photoshop, you know, isn't scary. It's it's actually you know, pretty intuitive, right? And that it's you know it's going to help you with um, whatever you happen to be working on. You know, so a lot of a lot of my older students and and people who are more traditionalists, yeah, um, tend to really have a have this fear about for you know, like they're never going to learn it. It's too big. It's scary. You know, all that kind of stuff. And so oh. the point of that whole video was to just kind of show like you know. It's it's okay. Photoshop is your friend. You know? Photoshop is your friend. 
Well, I mean, because the things you can do with it are just so amazing. If you're yeah. at that world where you're you're just doing, you know, um, by hand, think of the amount of time that you could save if you knew how, you know, some of those things in Photoshop. Also, that, you know, Photoshop isn't, like, especially with watercolor, Photoshop isn't a one-shot deal, you know? Right. When you, if you make a mistake or you need to make some adjustments or whatever, you're not stuck the way you are, like, when you work, are working on a watercolor and something goes bad. You, know, you don't have to start over or whatever. And then nowadays, though, you can almost not get away with uh, using Photoshop for, for something in your workflow. Well, that's just it. Yeah, um, there are there are still a f you know quite a few people out there who don't use these programs. You know, there's still a few artists and 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 they I, I shouldn't say a few. There's actually quite a quite a, a few artists that that don't use these programs. And and I guess the point of the the demo was to kind of show like here are some things that you can do. You know, all these things that you that you feel like you may not have control over. Suddenly, you have all this control and you can right. You, you can create, you know, um, things that that you've only been dreaming of, you know. Because I, I remember working with with watercolors early in my career and how demanding they are, you know. So um, yeah, especially if you're having to you have deadlines and stuff, and just well, yeah, that's the that's the biggest part about it now is is you know the deadlines are so demanding, and and then so the other thing is you know you send these these things off to your clients and then they're like, well, you know, we really love this, but <laughs> this blue hair or whatever, you know, and all yeah. of a sudden you're like, what do I, I do just, now? I you just know? went through that. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. I was drawing some, uh, some wolves and uh, mm -hmm. as for whatever illustrations. And I was getting a little creative with some of the colors and I didn't even think twice about it, but uh, for some reason, they didn't. They didn't like blue wolves. So, <laughs> you know, uh, I was like, "Well, to each their own." And I had to go back and edit them. But thank goodness for good old Photoshop. It made it a lot easier. Well, that's just it. I mean, that's the story of of you know of of art these days. People understand that they can make these changes, and they're very simple. Yeah. Um, when I first started doing illustration, you know, it was. Their computers weren't really as prevalent as they are right now. I mean, they were still out there, but they weren't. They were nowhere near as sophisticated as they are now. So there was nobody drawing on computers mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. we're doing now. There's there, that didn't even exist. No, but um, you know, I would get these requests from from clients sometimes, you know, who are a little fussier, and they'd say, "Well, we need to make a change here or change there." But the difference between now and then is. When those changes used to come in, I would have you know sometimes up to a week to make a change, you know, and oh, then send yeah. it back or whatever, and everything was overnighted. But um, now you get a change, and it's got to be done that afternoon, you know. So what do you do if you're working in in, in you know traditional media? You're yeah. you're screwed. So, well, then I don't even have a printer anymore. That's you know I don't mm -hmm. make prints. I don't print anything. I don't. I went over today to have to print out a couple of things that I had done over to the uh, print shop across the street, and um, it's uh, I don't I don't know how you deliver stuff anymore. It used to be the 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 tubes from FedEx would come. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, sure. Yeah, I remember all that, that stuff. Yeah. Thing, but now it's all Dropbox and email and. Well, I guess the the. The biggest point was, you know, this stuff will allow you to compete on a level playing field with the other artists that are out there, you know. So, so when I went over to print today, uh -huh. I asked the guy. I said, "So, I, it, for some reason, my uh, PDF I generated wasn't the colors were coming out bad. So, I don't know what was going on there. Um, so, I was like, well, I saved it as a uh, PSD file, Photoshop file." Uh -huh. Can you print from that? And he just kind of looked at me like, really? <laughs> no, like, I can't think you just ask me that. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, of course, you know, but. Um, well, you know, not every, that's the thing. You get a mixed bag when you go to shops, you know. Sometimes yeah. they know, you know, depends on who's working behind the counter, you know. 
Yeah, I've had some some good uh, good luck over there, but uh, some place some every once in a while you'll get somebody that obviously is new to the uh, print shop, and it's one mm-hmm. of those like you know yeah go and use the uh, copy machine kind of places. <laughs> sir, sir. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It depends on who the who the guy behind the counter is, you know, and you know, and how me, how hard they want to work. Usually, when you, when you get like a kid, you know that they're going to be able to do everything you want, you know. Yeah. When you get the older guy, then they're they they're so oh, I don't know I got off to look into it. Yeah, I've done pretty good so far over there, so I'm not I'm not going to complain about it. And it's just really close to the house, so it makes it super nice. Which but, one is this now that you're going to? Office Max. Oh, okay. Across the street there. Yeah. Yeah, that is convenient to you, isn't it? Yeah. You could walk if you didn't mind, you know, dodging traffic. Walk. <laughs> you can walk any day. Well, I had to take my son out somewhere today, so he's like, oh, Dad, can you give me a ride? i got to go with this and that. And I'm like, okay. All right, let's see. What am I doing here? I've got to get Captain Kirk in back here before we run out of time. <laughs> I gotta do some shading. Look at you go, man! Look at that thing; it's gorgeous. I'm, I'm ashamed of what I've got on my computer screen here. I'm just going fast today. I don't know why I'm feeling it. I w- I've been drawing, uh, hand drawing a lot. Um, uh-huh. I've been doing these sketches and stuff, and it's been feels good. I don't have to noodle around with my. That is really. You got to make a print of that one, man. That's yeah, that's I cool. I was thinking back too. Uh, I was looking at this when I was a kid. I had a little stuffed animal and it looked kind of like this oh yeah and i called him george i got it when i was a kid and we were in korea we lived there i remember buying it on a, some shop on the street and uh i must have carried that thing around for ages oh, you guys you, was, so cool. you lived a lot of different places didn't you? Your, your dad was in the service right yeah, oh yeah we lived everywhere but uh i just remember i had this thing this white little monkey who turned gray after a while <laughs> but the, the best thing about it was is that uh, that uh, you could stick his thumb in his mouth. I mm-hmm. thought that was like the the height of uh, toy ingenuity at the time. I feel like my eyes are wrong here. I think I'm gonna take these and make them into the into the bug eyes. Yeah, they gotta be like um, uh, like bees eyes or something. Right, right. All the different facets. Oh, there you go. It's already it's, looking better. I think it's gonna be more like that. <laughs> there we go. How's that? Nice. I think that's better. <laughs> I keep missing my layers. I'm gonna end up like drawing some black Dude, lines. You gotta do. You gotta do something with that thing. That that's gotta be a shirt or a poster or something. That yours came out uh, really good. Thanks. Uh, it's a uh, it's a gorilla. You can't really go wrong with a gorilla. Yeah, I like that. I like that looks good. Okay, here's my Captain Kirk back here. I don't know how the lines would hold up real close, but dude, I think you're I think you're in good shape with that one. I'll add another layer for some shadows, though. We'll see. This is where I jack it all up. Watch. Yeah, it's really, oh, I really like that one. Got to start thinking about dinner soon. Yeah, that's the, you know, today's working out that way. I don't know why. I'm thinking about uh, maybe wasabi tonight. Wasabi. Have you been there? No, where's that? Down in uh, McGregor Village there. Uh Uh-uh. That place is good. Was it a Japanese steak place or something? It's uh well, it's kind of a sushi slash you know um, Asian cuisine there. So I think we're going for burgers tonight. It's Friday night. Well, that's One of the boys is out. Either. So five guys. Yeah, probably five guys. Or we like to go downtown Apex too. That's kind of nice. Five Guys is a pretty good drive for you guys, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right. Which one do you guys go to? Um, was it um, 
Up in Cary. Over near the Cary uh, High School? Don't know where Cary High School is. Not that far. It's over near Cary Town Mall? No, no, not that far. Which one are you going to? Um... I oh, I know where you're going. Your yours is over near the um, uh, what's the name of that road? I can't think of it. It's over near the uh, the tennis club, right? Well, I don't know. I don't know what the tennis. Carry tennis park. I don't get out to the tennis club much, but well, but I, um, but there's what is it? Um, there's all these stores near it. I don't know. It's this shopping area. There's a uh, up there's to a good, 55. There's a then. good yeah. There's a good uh, burger place over there. I think it's called Trebecca. Have you been to that one? No. Yeah, go in there. Good beer too. Well, it's kind of packed all the time. I think that place. Well, it's packed because it's good, man. Yeah, I know. If I go with the family though, we always have problems because it's like kids uh, don't drink beer. Well, yeah, one <laughs> they don't like the beer there, so. Kids, kids don't like the beer. Yeah, and then uh, two, there's a bunch of us, so it's yeah. trying to get in. Oh yeah, 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 it gets expensive fast. Yeah, so we we usually kind of try and keep it simple when we go out. That's one you'll have to just go to the with with the wife. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'll take the recommendation because she's seen it a bunch of times, and I think she wants to go there sometime. But yeah, it's pretty good. I, I enjoyed it. I had a I had a good burger there. Right, let's see. What is that area called? I don't even know. They're well, they're I forget too, but they're they're doing a lot of work over there now, and there's a lot of new um, housing and stuff coming on over in that area. Nice. See, I got away with not drawing the uh, the cliffs. You even have the slope of that mountain, but that they were fighting on up there. It's <laughs> yeah. a pretty well, famous place. I can't remember the name of it, but. Yeah, buddy of mine uh, lives in California. He went to go, go visit it. Yeah, everybody, if you live in L.A., you have to go out there. Right. Although, I, when I used to live there, I don't, I don't think I ever went there. I found out about it too late. I wasn't a, a big uh, cinephile at the time. You lived in L.A. too, huh? Yeah, yeah. Man, you lived everywhere. Where have you not lived? Well, that, you know. How did you wind up here? Uh, family lives around here. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the time, um, I, I, you know, family considerations, uh, raising some kids looking for a good school district, a place I can afford to live. Sure. All those things kind of played in the hand. And, and uh, actually, um, I, think, uh, I think we saw – a Newsweek article or something about the, the 10 best places in America to live or something like, you know, 25 best cities in America to live, and, and this was one of them. Hmm. And everybody raved about the Triangle area and mm -hmm. Raleigh, and it's a new place now. It's not like, you know, I've got family from North Carolina, and all I remember is uh, farmland and uh, going hunting. And That's how it used to be here. Barbecue and, uh, you know, all that stuff. And uh, it still has that, but now when we came down to check it out, um, we realized it was, you know, it's a whole different place than it was 20, 20 years ago. Yeah, sure, definitely. Well, how, how long have you been living here? Uh, about seven years, six years. Yeah, so you and I have been here almost the same amount of time. Yeah, where'd you come from? I, was, I used to live up in uh, Connecticut. Connecticut. Okay. Just outside of Hartford. Before that, I was in Boston. Boston. You know, you didn't pick up the accent, huh? You know, some people say I did, and some people say I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never, I never, I never had the Boston accent. Yeah. All right, let's see. I better get some color in here quick. I'm getting close, man. I, I might have to start drawing. Uh... You're gonna have to put a background in there if you're gonna, if we're gonna go oh, much longer. Look at that. Then right, I'll let's see. start breaking out. The... Let's see. i got to get my flood fills going in here and just make this quick. There you go. Let's grab this. What was, what was in that scene, anyway? It was like on the – it was like a – there were trees. He jumped, 
jump down from. Yeah, it was very similar to this to the background of the one that I'm doing, which was oh. yeah. There's a there's like um you know cliffs and things like that. I think in the background. Yeah, I've got that song in my head now. Yeah, he was all lovesick in that one too, because like uh, she that that woman put some kind of weird spell on him or something. And then uh, that was the other thing I liked about Star Trek, even at a younger age, the the girls were cute. <laughs> yeah. they had a, you know, like '60s kind of go-go dancer look to them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They were all like that. Okay. You just could not beat that. Make that a little lighter. Here we go. Okay. In this direction. I think it's yeah, it looks like they should have been dancing or something. That seemed like. And then military uniforms with skirts that short. Hilarious. I love it. How could you do anything but love that? <laughs> you know, for that day and age, man. I mean, what was that jackpot for uh, teenage sci-fi fans? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on, I gotta close off this shape here. That's the one thing I always forget is to get those shapes closed off. Yeah, I don't even. Do you use uh, color layers, sep like separately? You do your selections and then switch layer or whatever. And... Oh yeah, I do, but not not tonight. To, we're because we're going so fast here. I'm trying not to to get too crazy with it. If we were if we were you know really fussing over this, I'd have a, a million gazillion layers in here. Yeah. I really like that line thing you've been doing. Oh, thanks. It's kind of a recent thing, huh? Kind of? Um, you know what? It, I, I found the um, the style when I used to use the brush pens, you know? Yeah. And so um, I kind of liked it, and I kind of stuck with that. Well, your analog pens? I love those brush pens. And, and you know which ones I'm talking about, too, the ones okay. that you introduced me to, the, um, that, the Pentel... Um, What's the name of that thing I'm thinking of? You know which one? The one with the uh, with the with the actual um, filament. The Japanese the calligraphy tip. pen. Yeah, exactly. Heck yeah. Let's just gotta get this a little more yellow here. There we go. I'm just gonna fudge in some. Big tree stuff. How are we doing on time? We got seven. We got seven oh six here. Not too bad. Ah. <clears throat> it's funny the um, the broadcast looks much darker than my actual screen. I might need to, <laughs> need to make really? some adjustments here. Yeah, it's really it's really dark up there compared to what I'm doing on my actual screen here. So yeah. might need to make some adjustments with that. It's a little hotter too. The colors are a little hotter on the screen up there. What's that about? That I don't know. Oops. Let's see if we can change these up a little bit. These should go a little more like that. A little darker. Wow, they're really hot up there. Holy mackerel. They don't look anything like that on my screen. I'm going to have to make some adjustments later on after we... Well, that's something good to remember. Yeah. For yeah. later. For sure. I've been trying out this Manga Studio software. Mm -hmm. How's it going? It's, 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 got its, it's got its good points. I was playing today around... It's got a really nice um, uh, halftone screen tools. Mm -hmm. I'm really liking those, but I don't know. I'm I'm still a little burnt about the way things are going um, business-wise for that company. Yeah, right. You were talking about that last time we were together. Yeah, and I don't. I hate to bring it up every time, but I've I've been using the. I was using it today, and I was really liking the halftone screens. I'm remembering back from the '90s when I have to used to lay those down with acetate film. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I remember that. Oh my phone! <laughs> How do I turn it off? How do I turn it off? <laughs> I told you, man. There we go. <laughs> Woo! 
It's still buzzing. Can you hear it? No. <laughs> you can't hear that? Nope. You're good. How's that? <laughs> I heard that. Let's see. This guy over here. I'm just going to fill it in. So yeah, any excuse I have to draw a gorilla, I'm good, man. But I was using those halftone screens, and I was just like, you click a button, and it fills the whole area with the screen, and then nice. you just go right in with the digital tool and erase part of it. But it's already set up for the right resolution for printing. Jeez, do you remember working with that Zipatone stuff? That stuff was crazy. And it was crazy expensive. Yeah. Yeah, so it was, it was it was right up there with uh, Letraset. Remember yep. Letraset? <laughs> Man. Although I came into illustration, graphic design, probably at, at a pretty good point. Um, I was doing comic book illustration before, uh, and doing all that by hand. And we we had we had some guy use Photoshop to color our comic book, and it was unheard of at the time. Everyone was doing um, uh, hand painted kind of stuff, or or painting in codes, mm. blocks on screens, right? On films and stuff, or they were just going black and white. And then at, for a little while there, there was a big push for these uh, Prismacolor marker uh, kind of coloring. Yeah, I used to do a lot of that. And uh, so that was big. And then we we got this this one guy. He had a computer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we were talking about, oh, these files are going to be huge. They're going to be like 15 <laughs> megabytes. And, you know, we had a whole comic book. We didn't know how we were going to get the comic book to the printer. Yeah. Uh, because of all the file sizes and everything. And he was going to send a digital file. We were, like, amazed. Seems like the more things change, the more they stay the same, right? Yeah. I mean, we even got down to where the guy, I think the guy was suggesting dismantling his computer and sending his hard drive. Oh, my God. And they would install the hard drive into their computer at the print shop, which stuff they would never do now. I don't think we had USB thumb drives back then. It was all... No, no. It was the best you could do was a zip drive. Zip drives, yeah. We didn't have zip drives then. Or a jazz. You have a jazz drive, right? <laughs> <laughs> Remember those things? Oh, yeah. Well, my shop had a bunch of those when I was back doing that stuff. But um, just the difference, man, it's, it's amazing. Okay, let's see. i got to get a good flesh tone here. Looks pretty good. So I might need to make some adjustments, I guess, on this thing if it's going to be that far off. Yeah, well, what's going to happen when yeah, it's enough to You can post the, the original one. No, no, I'm, I'm thinking like if, if this is going to be, you know, if it's if it's this, if the calibration is this far off, what, what's going to happen when I send stuff out to print? Oh, yeah. But I don't know. It looks the same on my monitor as it does on the uh, on the Cintiq here, so it's kind of hard to say. I don't know. Maybe it's uh, processing it differently. It's possible. It has to be doing something to it if it's pushing it out. Maybe they just have a filter or something, or they're what do they call that? When I they... know what's going on. When I set this up, <laughs> I think I was playing around with the warm filter. <laughs> so, oh, are you serious? I wonder if it's me. That's hilarious. Oh, so it's a what we call a pebcac. What's that mean? The problem exists between the keyboard and chair. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's the guy running the thing here. So. Yeah, I gotta it see. Is. I wonder if can I can change it. I don't know. Let me see. I'll just check and see if I can get in there and do this. Um, I don't know if I can do it in the middle of the broadcast here. Let's see. Why, why is this shortcut not working like I thought? I think it should. How do I do that? Oh, hello. My monkey is blue now. Well, I guess we'll just have to work with the uh, <laughs> with, with the handicap for today. We'll remember that next time. Are you um, trying to give yourself a tan or something? Uh, I was. We were doing a um, 
a video broadcast earlier where I was talking, um, and the uh, it was so dark in here. I was trying to lighten things up, you know. Yeah. So I was I was messing around with some of those filters, and I, and I could I I got the warm filter on there. And I said, oh, that looks pretty good. I'll just leave that on there, and then I forgot I had it on. So now I'm stuck with. Uh, what are you gonna do? <clears throat> stuck with inaccurate colors. I wish I knew how to turn that thing on and off. Yeah, this is. I hate for anyone to see my uh, working file for this. Is this there's stuff all over the place. That's frustrating. You know, this Google thing. You, you know, you think you got a handle on it, and then it just it it eludes you. You know, it, it, well, it's it's just that there's so many variables. I think it, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what you do. Um, you're going to uh, you're going to miss something. Yeah. Well, I'll, we'll post these up uh, so you can see the difference between what I'm actually working on and what it, what it really looks like. Just adds a whole lot of yellow to it, you know. So the colors are, are a lot a lot different than what I'm actually working with here. Okay. I'll put a little green cactus back here. Did you drop out, man? Where are you? I'm here. You're just quiet. Oh yeah, yeah. I was I was trying to figure out something. I lost a a thing. And I'm like looking for it. And I'm like, where what layer is that on? I totally <laughs> didn't switch that right. Story of my life, man. What layer is that on? What layer is that on? That should be a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. For your next class. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, I got a class starting up pretty soon. Twenty second, I think, next week. Whoa! Oh no. What's the What's the class next week? Uh, this will be Illustrator again. So I did a Photoshop one here in in uh, in Cary recently. That was fun. Was that for the uh, the school again? Mm-hmm. Yeah, over at Wake Tech. I'm going to leave that kind of muted out so it doesn't mess with my guy. But I think I'm done, man. Yeah, I think we could probably call it a day here. I, I would throw some shadows in here if we had a little bit of extra time, but I think we're, we're close enough. Um, you want to work for, like, maybe two more minutes? Couple yeah, more minutes. All right. I'm going to sign this and then check I'm out. i grab you're... my big old fat brush here, and I'm just going to lay in some, some purple shadows here and see if we can... Make this happen. Let's see, a little bit bigger than that. Drop that down around there. Grab a color like this. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I'll throw a little bit really of that. Good okay, out. good, cool. Got it. That's going to work. We'll make that so, what are we thinking about doing next time? Or do we want to keep that close to the I think uh, I think we'll leave that um, undetermined just as of yet. All right. So next time we get together, we'll it'll be a surprise for anybody who shows up. There you go. That sounds good. Let's pump that up just a hair. That will be a totally easy subject to animate your Gorn character. <laughs> yeah. You do it at three frames per second and. Yeah, yeah, he's all slow moving. Yeah, nice. I think the background makes it. Is that that's, that's supposed to be Captain Kirk hiding behind the rock? Yeah, picking up one of those styrofoam stones and throwing it at him. He's got the um, the, remember the bamboo thing that he made the the uh, the cannon out of? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what's going on back there. So I'm going to throw a little shadow in down here like this. So what size is that artwork? I think you should zoom in. How's that? Is that a little better? Yeah, much better. 
I try to keep mine as full screen as possible. I figure it'll I'll start dropping out if I make it too small. Although it I'll, looks nicer, you know, when you shrink it down, but well, when when I'm throwing in shadows, I I, I like to see the whole drawing so that yeah. I can get a better handle on how they need to work, you know. And if it's too if it's in too tight, then that makes it difficult to see what's happening. You got a little warm shadow going there. Nice. All right, let's uh, let's call this a day. So there's my guy. <laughs> it's all, all yellow up there. I can't wait to <laughs> show you what that really looks like. Oh yeah, because of the filter. That's right. Yeah, it's okay. It's bringing me down, man. It's bringing me down. I don't like looking up there because I'm I'm so disappointed in that. I'm gonna have to. Oh man, let's see. Just take a all screenshot. Right. That looks great. You did a good job. Yeah, we we did a couple of monsters this time. I like that. Star Trek <laughs> monsters. So if we yeah. do Star Trek again, we'll have to say that we'll have to do something outside the original series. Yeah, we do either villains or heroes or something like that next time. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe spaceships or something. Yeah, cool, cool. All yeah. right, well let me uh, let me stop this broadcast and we'll call it a day. You want to hold up your uh, your your little sign before we sign off? Okay. Hold <laughs> on, let me let me go find it in there. It's in here somewhere. Bring it to the top. No, let me, let me fix that and then bring it to the top. Nope. And then zero and then there. There you go. So that's the <laughs> perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, Jesse, I will see you next time. All right. Take care, Bob. We'll see you, man.